when you have a band behind you, if you mess up, everyone messes up. You know, like you can you can share the burden, but when you're up there by yourself and you're not doing well, it's death. It's crazy. <laughs> An Appleton man has a distinction very few people can claim. He is a veteran turned working comedian. Ahead of Veterans Day, we travel to a local comedy club to check him out. Tonight in small towns, Trevor Klumpner's journey from war zone to making people laugh. Trevor Klumpner is hosting Open Mic Night with our news camera present. I'm not doing this story because I'm better than any of you comics. Uh, it's because Jeff owes me a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> gambling. Uh, <laughs> he is kidding, of course. But now that we have that out of the way, Trevor's path to the comedy scene is unique. Before serving up laughter, Trevor served his country. So I grew up in a very poor family, and so I knew that there was no way that any college was going to be paid for. I didn't want to be in crippling student loan debt, so I decided just I'm just going to join the Army. Six months after joining in 2006, Trevor was in Iraq at Camp Buka conducting military police detainee operations for nearly a year. After his deployment, Trevor says he got lucky overcoming the stress of war. When it comes to like traumatic experiences, we had a really good commander who was very, like, I know when a lot of people come back and when they get out of the military, they kind of have a hard time getting in the VA system. Our battalion just signed us all up right away. We didn't have to do anything. Which meant immediate therapy. It was very helpful. So, I mean, I, I'm one of the lucky ones for sure. After leaving the service in 2012, Trevor played in a band, but his passion since he was a kid, comedy. I never thought about it as like a career though. I was just like, well, that's just something other people do. You know, like it's fun to think about. It's, I like making my friends laugh, but you know, we'll leave it at that. That is until 2019, when a friend convinced him to take a swing at an open mic night. So I knew he was a big fan. I was like, yeah, you can just do that, can't you? So then, you know, I went to, I went and watched a couple open mics, had a good time, and then I tried it, did okay for my first time, but I, I was hooked. It was, I, there's no looking back once you do it. Just, it's, it's crazy. And for Trevor, it was now all about building a network of comedian friends and hustling for gigs. I just, I'm messaging people constantly, uh, you know, trolling Facebook groups, looking for people posting shows and reaching out to them. Uh, most of it's word of mouth. Uh, I used to work here at the door, which is like a time-honored tradition among comedians, working the door at a comedy club. And then, so you, cause you get to joke around with all the comics, you know, and you have a good time, they see you're funny, they learn you're a comedian, and then they're like, hey, if you're ever in Austin, hit me up, I'll get you out. Like many comedians, Trevor's material comes from his life experiences. Like, I once broke my arm just because the hospital had free cable. <laughs> While there's no place Trevor would rather be than on stage, he admits the stage is sometimes very lonely. I think it was Mike Birbiglia that said, uh, you're five days away from your next bomb. You know, like, and I, I've been on a hot streak lately, and then I was in Minneapolis last night, and I bombed. And I was like, oh, you know what, that's the one. There it is, you know, very humbling. <laughs> Just a few years after getting serious about his comedy. Fully acknowledged that I look like a guy who the cops would pull over just to say, what's up? You know? Trevor Klumpner is making a name for himself, turning his dream into reality. I am further along than I thought it would be at this point, which is really cool. Making people laugh just brings me just so much joy. Are you guys ready to get the show on the road? Yeah! In Appleton with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. And he is a funny guy. Trevor will be performing tomorrow night and Saturday night up in Marquette, Michigan. Next week in Small Towns, the incredible story of a Nina family who tracked down a car, the only one of its kind in the world, built by their ancestor in 1915.